Hello everyone, hope you all are doing good. I am Anjana from LearnoHub, the free learning platform where you can study math, science and SST absolutely free at learnohub.com. In today's class, we are going to discuss ICC class 10 maths chapter 14, equation of a line with examples and solve many questions from exercise 14a. Hope you all are ready. Be ready with your pen and papers. Let's start. Let us understand the basic concepts about a straight line. What is the equation of a line? In the class 9th, we have discussed in the chapter of graphs, equations of line. So, straight line. This is a straight line. Yes. So, equation of a line we have studied ax plus by is equal to c or ax is equal to c. This is also an acceptable equation of line. Here what happens? The y value will be equal to 0 and by is equal to c. x value equal to 0. So, these are acceptable equations of a line. Now, when you check this equations, you will understand that the highest power of the variables x and y. What are the highest power? 1. So, these are linear equations in two variables. Therefore, we can say that for a straight line, we have linear equations in two variables. Okay. Now, when you take these two equations, what happens? Here, the y value is equal to 0, y coordinate is equal to 0, here the x coordinate is 0. Still, they are linear equations in two variables. Now, let us take an example. x minus y is equal to 0. I am going to plot this. This is an equation of straight line. Okay. Let us see if we will get a straight line or not. Here, I am taking the x axis. This is my y axis, x o x dash, y o y dash. Okay. Now, I will be putting some values for x and y. It should satisfy this equation. Okay. Let us see if we are getting a straight line or not. x and y values. I should get 0 here. What happens if I put x value 1? What should y be if x is 1? We need 0 in the RHS which means y should also be 1. 1 minus 1 can give me 0. Now when I put x is equal to 2, y should also be 2 because 2 minus 2 is 0. When I put x 3, what is y? y will also be 3. When I put x4, y will also be 4. Okay. Putting x5, y will also be 5. Now, let us plot these points. So, here we have x coordinates. Here we have y coordinates. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. First point has x coordinate 1 and y coordinate 1. This is 1, this is 1. So, this is the first point. Second point, x coordinate 2, y coordinate 2. Here we have 2, here we have 2. This is the point. Third, 3, 3. x coordinate 3 and the y coordinate also 3. Fourth point, 4, 4. 4 and 4. And the fifth point, 5, 5. This is the fifth, 5. Here we have 5. On joining these points, I have joined all these points. I am getting a straight line, right? I can extend this. When I can extend this. So, from this linear equation in two variables, I am getting a straight line. Yes, the straight line is inclined to the x-axis. Now, we understood that if a line, equation of a line is given, Substituting some values which satisfy the, the equation will be getting the coordinates of the points which lies on the straight line. Let me check if the point here I am taking this point. This is a point that lies on the straight line x minus y equal to 0. 
Let us check this. If it is satisfying the equation. For this point, we have the x coordinate 6 and the y coordinate 6. Okay. Now, our equation is x minus y is equal to 0. x coordinate 6, y coordinate 6, which means 6 minus 6. That is again equal to 0. So, any point that lies on this line will be having x and y same values and subtracting y from x we will be getting 0. Okay. Here, using the equation and substituting values, we can find the straight line and any point that lies on the straight line. Understood? We have taken an example for equation of a line x minus y is equal to 0 and using the points x and y coordinate, different x and y coordinate which satisfies this equation. We have plotted a graph. Yes. Now, I will take another line y is equal to 2. Is this an equation of straight line? Here we do not know the x coordinate which means x coordinate is equal to 0. Yes. So, y is equal to 2. How can I plot y is equal to 2? This is my x and y coordinate axis. Okay. y is equal to 2. y coordinate is 2 and x coordinate is equal to 0. Where do we get this point? x coordinate is 0 and y is equal to 2. Here we have y1. This is y2. Only this point, we need a line. This is an equation of line. Here, when you take this line, which passes through this point and parallel to x axis. On this line, every point will be having the y coordinate equal to 2. x can be any value. Only the point which lies on the y axis will be getting the x coordinate 0. All other points on this line will have some x value and the y coordinate will be 2. So, this is the equation of the line y is equal to 2 and this is a required line. Okay. Now, I am taking another one. x is equal to 3. What about this? This is again an equation of line. x should be 3. 1, 2, 3. Here we have x is equal to 3. So, a line that passes through this point, every point on this line will be having x value equal to 3 and the y value can be anything. So, two important concepts that we have studied here. First is any point which satisfies the equation of a line lies on that line. That is, we have taken the graph. On the graph, we have taken few points. Any point, we have taken a point 6, 6. 6, 6 satisfies the equation. Therefore, that point lies on the line. The second, just the opposite, any point through which the line passes. If a line passes through a point, then it will satisfy the equation of the line. Just the reverse thing, okay. If a point, if a line passes through a point, then that line will satisfy the equation of the line. Okay. Understood the concepts? Let us do some examples. Let us take an example. First question. Check whether point 4 minus 2 lies on the line represented by equation 3x plus 5y is equal to 2 or not. How to check? What we have to do is we have the point for the first question we have point 4 minus 2. That is the x value is equal to 4. x coordinate is equal to 4 and the y coordinate is equal to minus 2. Now the equation of line is 3x plus 5y is equal to 2. We have to check if this point x is equal to 4, y is equal to minus 2 lies on the line 3x plus 5y is equal to 2. To do this, what you have to do is put the x and y values that is given for this point. Okay. Take the LHS, left hand side of this equation. LHS we are having 3x plus 5y. Put the values for x and y. If you are getting this equal to 2, then this point will be lying on the line 3x plus 5y is equal to 2. What is x? x is equal to 4 and y is equal to minus 2. 3 into 4 plus 5 into minus 2. 
3 into 4, we get 12. 5 into minus 2 is minus 10. 12 minus 10, which is equal to 2. LHS, we got 2. What is RHS? RHS is already 2, which means point 4 minus 2 lies on the line 3x plus 5y is equal to 2. Okay. Now, the second question. Here, we have a straight line represented by the equation x minus 3y plus 8 is equal to 0. Passes through point. Here, the point is 2, 4. x value is 2 and the y value is 4. We have to say whether this line passes through the point 2, 4. Is this true? Let us see. Take the left hand side of the equation of straight line. LHS, we have x minus 3y plus 8. Put x is equal to 2 and y is equal to 4. 2 minus 3 into 4 plus 8. That is equal to 2 minus 3 into 4. We get 12 plus 8 equal to 2 minus 12 minus 10. Minus 10 plus 8, minus 2. LHS we are getting minus 2. What is RHS? RHS is 0. Which means LHS not equal to RHS. And we can conclude that the line x minus 3y plus 8 is equal to 0 does not pass through point. 2,4. This is the conclusion. So, in the first question, we got that the point 4 minus 2 lies on the line 3x plus 5y is equal to 2. And the second question, we have concluded that the line x minus 3y plus 8 is equal to 0 does not pass through point 2,4. Clear? Example 2. The line represented by the equation 3x minus 8y is equal to 2 passes through the point k2. Find the value of k. Here it is given that this line of equation 3x minus 8y is equal to 2 is passing through the point k2. And we have to find the value of k. How can we find the value of k? Since it is given that this line passes through this point, we can take the x is equal to k and y is equal to 2. Put these values in the equation. Substitute x is equal to k and y is equal to 2 in, let us call this equation 1, in 1. Here we have x, x we are going to substitute k, 3k minus 8 into y is equal to 2. 8 into 2 is equal to 2. That is 3k minus 8 into 2 is 16 is equal to 2. 3k is equal to taking this minus 16 to the opposite side. 2 plus 16. 3k is equal to what is 2 plus 16? 18. Correct. 18 and k is equal to 18 by 3 which is equal to 6. We got the value of k k is equal to 6. That is the coordinate of the points are 6 comma 2. We just need to find the value of k. Clear? Here it is given in the question that this line, it passes. The equation of the line is given. This line passes through the point. In a previous example, we were asked to check if the line passes through the point. Again, in that case, we have put the x and y values but we obtain that the LHS not equal to RHS. Here it is already given this line passes through this point. Therefore, we can easily put the x and y values of the points in the equation of the line. Let us now solve problems from exercise 14a. Find which of the following points lie on the line x minus 2y plus 5 is equal to 0. Here 6 points are given. We have to find if these points lies on the line x minus 2y plus 5 is equal to 0. Let us take the first point. We have 1, 3. And the equation of line is x minus 
2y plus 5 is equal to 0. Substitute x is equal to 1 and y is equal to 3. In equation x minus 2y plus 5 is equal to 0. Put x is equal to 1 and y is equal to 3. That is 1 minus 2 into 3 plus 5. We have to check by solving this if this is equal to 0. Let us see 1 minus 2 into 3 is 6 plus 5. That is equal to 1 minus 6 minus 5 minus 5 plus 5 is equal to 0. That is we are getting 0 equal to RHS 0 which means the point 1 comma 3 lies on the line x minus 2y plus 5 is equal to 0. Clear? Now the second point we have second point 0 comma 5 and the equation of line is x minus 2y plus 5 is equal to 0. Put the values here we are going to substitute x is equal to 0 and y is equal to 5. When you put x is equal to 0 take the LHS part left hand side we have x minus 2y plus 5 that is equal to put x is equal to 0 and y is equal to 5. 0 minus 2 into 5 plus 5 that is equal to minus of 2 into 5. 2 into 5 is 10 minus 10 plus 5 which is equal to minus 5. What should we get? We have to get the RHS. RHS is equal to 0 which means LHS not equal to RHS. Therefore, the point 0, 5 does not lie on the line x minus 2y plus 5 is equal to 0. Clear? We are getting the first point lies on the line x minus 2y plus 5 is equal to 0 because we got LHS and RHS equal to 0. And the second point 0, 5 does not lie on the line x minus 2y plus 5 is equal to 0 because we are not getting LHS and RHS equal. Now the third point we have minus 5, 0. Let us check if minus 5, 0 lies on the line x minus 2y plus 5 is equal to 0. Take the LHS, LHS is equal to x minus 2y plus 5. Put x is equal to minus 5 and y is equal to 0. x is equal to minus 5 and y is equal to 0. What do we get? LHS is equal to x is minus 5, minus 5, minus 2 into y value is 0 plus 5. Minus 5 plus 5 can be removed. Minus 2 into 0 is 0. LHS we are getting 0. What is RHS? RHS already we have 0. RHS is equal to 0 which means LHS is equal to RHS. Therefore, we can conclude that the point minus 5, 0 lies on the line x minus 2y plus 5 is equal to 0. Next, the fourth point we have 5, 5. x coordinate is 5 and y coordinate is 5. This is the fourth one. Let us check. We have x minus 2y plus 5 is equal to 0 is the equation of line. Going to substitute x is equal to 5 and y is equal to 5. Take the LHS. What is LHS here? We have x minus 2y plus 5. That is equal to substitute the values for x and y. x is 5 minus 2 into 5 plus 5. That is equal to 5 minus 2 into 5, 10 plus 10. 5 plus 5, 10 minus 10 which is equal to 0. RHS is already equal to 0. LHS 
is therefore equal to RHS and hence we can conclude that the point 5 comma 5 lies on the line x minus 2y plus 5 is equal to 0. Got it? Fifth point we have 2 minus 1.5. The equation of line x minus 2y plus 5 is equal to 0. Substitute x is equal to 2 and y is equal to minus 1.5. Let us check. Take the left hand side. Left hand side we have x minus 2y plus 5. Put x is equal to 2 minus 2 into y value minus 1.5 plus 5. That is equal to 2 minus 2 into minus 1.5. 2 into 1.5 is 3. Here we have a negative which means minus 3. Minus into minus plus. Plus 3 plus 5. That is equal to 2 plus 3, 5. 5 plus 5, 10. LHS we are getting 10. What about RHS? RHS is given that is 0. LHS not equal to RHS which implies the point 2 minus 1.5 does not lie on the line x minus 2y plus 5 is equal to 0. Okay. Now the last point, the sixth point minus 2 minus 1.5. Only the x coordinate is changing. Minus 2 minus 1.5. And the line <laughs> equation is x minus 2y plus 5 is equal to 0. Put x is equal to minus 2 and y is equal to minus 1.5 in the equation. x is equal to minus 2. Minus 2 minus 2 into minus 1.5 plus 5 is equal to 0. That is LHS part is equal to minus 2 minus 2 into minus 1.5. 2 into 1.5 is 3. Negative into negative we get positive. Plus 3 plus 5 is equal to minus 2 plus 3 we get 1. 1 plus 5 6. LHS is equal to 6 and RHS is equal to 0 which means LHS not equal to RHS and we can conclude that the point minus 2 minus 1.5 does not lie on the line x minus 2y plus 5 is equal to 0. So we have taken 6 different points and set if they lie on the line x minus 2y plus 5 is equal to 0. Some points lie on this line. Some other points does not lie on this line. Next problem 2, question 2 of exercise 14a. State true or false. The first question, the line x by 2 plus y by 3 is equal to 0 passes through the point 2 comma 3. Let us put x is equal to 2 and y is equal to 3 to check this. Taking LHS. LHS here we have x by 2 plus y by 3. We have to get putting 2 and 3 here we have to get 0. That is equal to x is equal to 2. 2 by 2 plus y is equal to 3. 3 by 3. Which is 2 by 2 is 1, 3 by 3 is also 1, 1 plus 1 equal to 2. And RHS is given which is equal to 0. Which means the point 2, 3. When you take the point 2, 3 and the line x by 2 plus y by 3. The line x by 2 plus y by 3 equal to 0 does not pass through the point 2, 3 because we are getting LHS and RHS different. So, this is false. This is a false statement. Now, the second, the line x by 2 plus y by 3 is equal to 0 passes through the point 4 minus 6. Let us check the second question. 
equation is same x by 2 plus y by 3 is equal to 0 passes through the point 4 minus 6. Here put x is equal to 4. 4 by 2 and y is equal to minus 6. Minus 6 by 3. That is equal to 4 by 2 we get 2. 6 by 3 is also 2. 2 minus 2 which is equal to 0. Which means we are getting left hand side 0 and right hand side 0. Therefore, the line x by 2 plus y by 3 equal to 0 passes through the point 4 minus 2. That is true. Next, next the third, the point 8, 7 lies on the line y minus 7 is equal to 0. Here x is not given which means the x coordinate will be equal to 0. That is the line is y is equal to 7 which means this is a line that is parallel to the x axis. Okay. Here let us put the values. We are going to take x as 0 because there is no x here. Third one y minus 7 is equal to 0. Given x coordinate is 8, we don't have space to put x. y is 7, which means 7 minus 7. 7 minus 7 is already 0, which means LHS and RHS are equal. Therefore, the point 8, 7 lies on the line y minus 7 is equal to 0. That is true. Next, the point minus 3, 0 lies on the line x plus 3 is equal to 0. Here x plus 3 is equal to 0 means x is equal to minus 3. The line x equal to minus 3 is a line which is parallel to the y axis. We have to put only the x value because y coordinate is 0. When you substitute here, we get for the fourth one x plus 3 is equal to 0. Putting x is equal to minus 3. Minus 3 plus 3 we get equal to 0 which means the left hand side and right hand side we already have 0. This is also true. The point minus 3 0 lies on the line x plus 3 is equal to 0. Now the fifth one. If the point 2a lies on the line 2x minus y is equal to 3. Then a is equal to 5. It is given line 2x. Fifth one. 2x minus y is equal to 3. And coordinates of the point are 2. A. If this point 2a lies on this line, we have to find if the value of a is equal to 5. Let us check put x is equal to 2 and y is equal to a. 2 into 2 minus y is a is equal to 3. We are going to find the value of a. 2 into 2 4 minus a is equal to 3. Which implies taking this 3 to the opposite side and minus a to right hand side. We get 4 minus 3. Plus 3 becomes minus 3 is equal to minus a becomes plus a. 4 minus 3 is equal to 1. Then the value of a is equal to 1. We have to get a is equal to 5 which means the statement is false. Clear? Here we have got. First statement false, second, third and fourth are true and the fifth statement is false. Problem 3, question 3 of exercise 14a. The line given by the equation 2x minus y by 3 is equal to 7 passes through the point k6. Calculate the value of k. It is given that this point k6 passes this line 2x minus y by 3 equal to 7 passes through the point k6. That is when you put x is equal to k and y is equal to 6, we will have to get 7. From that we can find the value of k. Substituting x is equal to k and y is equal to 6. What do we get? 2 into k minus y 6 by 3. That is equal to 2k minus 6 by 3 is 2. Given that this part is equal to 7. Which implies 2k minus 2 is equal to 7. 
2k is equal to 7 plus 2. 2k is equal to what is 7 plus 2? 7 plus 2 we get 9. 2k is equal to 9. Therefore, k is equal to 9 by 2 which is equal to 4.5. The value of k is equal to 4.5. The coordinates of the point are 4.5 comma 6. X coordinate is 4.5 that is k value and the y coordinate is equal to 6. Understood? Very simple, right? We just need to put the x and y values. Here x value is k from which we can equate and find the value of k. Let's move on to the next problem. Problem 4, question 4 of exercise 14a. For what values of k will the point 3 minus k lie on the line 9x plus 4y is equal to 3? The equation of line is 9x plus 4y is equal to 3. We have to find the value of k such that this point 3 minus k lies on the line 9x plus 4y is equal to 3. Let us substitute x value is equal to 3 and y value is equal to minus k. 9 into 3 plus 4 into minus k will be equal to 3. 9 into 3, 27. 4 into minus k is minus 4k is equal to 3. Taking the k containing term to one side and the constants to the opposite side, we are bringing this positive 3 to LHS, it becomes minus 3. 27 minus 3 is equal to minus 4k taking to the RHS, we get plus 4k. What is 27 minus 3? 27 minus 3 is 24. 24 is equal to 4k. If 24 is equal to 4k, 4k is equal to 24 implies k is equal to 24 divided by 4. What is 24 divided by 4? 6. Therefore, the value of k is equal to 6. The coordinate of the point are 3 comma minus 6. We just need to find the k value and the k value is 6. Next problem 5, question 5 of exercise 14a. The line 3x by 5 minus 2y by 3 plus 1 is equal to 0 contains the point m 2m minus 1. Calculate the value of m. Here the x coordinate and y coordinate of the point are x is equal to m and y is equal to 2m minus 1. This point passes through the line 3x by 5 minus 2y by 3 plus 1 is equal to 0. What can we do then? We have to find the value of m. Since this point passes through this line, we can substitute x is equal to m and y is equal to 2m minus 1 in this equation for the line. 3m divided by 5 minus 2 into y, 2m minus 1 divided by 3 plus 1 is equal to 0. 3m divided by 5, removing the brackets and multiplying, we get 2 into 2m is 4m, 2 into minus 1 is minus 2, divided by 3 plus 1 is equal to 0. Taking LCM, here we have 5, here we have 3 and this is 1. What is LCM then? These are prime numbers. For multiplying, we get 5 into 3 into 1, 15. 15 is the denominator. Now to get numerator, here we already have 5. 5 into 3 is 15. That 3 into 3m. 3 into 3m is 9m. Minus, here we have 3. 3 into 5 is 15. That 5 into this term. Minus 5 into 4m minus 2 plus. Here we have 1. 1 into 15 is 15. That 15 into 1. 15 is equal to 0. Taking this denominator to the opposite side, we get 9m minus, removing the brackets and multiplying, 5 into 4m is 20m 
minus 5 into minus 2 is plus 10. Plus 10 plus 15 is equal to 0 into 15. That is 9m minus 20m minus 11m plus 10 plus 15, 25 is equal to 0. Taking this term to the opposite side, minus 11m is equal to plus 25 becomes minus 25. Minus 25 and m is equal to minus 25 divided by minus 11 that is equal to Cancelling the negative sign, we get 25 by 11. m is equal to 25 divided by 11. We are asked to find, asked to calculate the value of m. We got m is equal to 25 divided by 11. Easy question, right? In the previous question, we have substituted k. Here, we are substituting the coordinates m and 2m minus 1. Since this equation satisfies, that is the point lies on the line, 3x by 5 minus 2y by 3 plus 1 is equal to 0. We can put the values and find the value of m. Is that okay? Next, problem number 6, question 6 of exercise 14a. Does the line 3x minus 5y is equal to 6 bisect the join of 5 minus 2 and minus 1, 2? Bisect means when this line passes through the line joining of points 5 minus 2 and minus 1, 2, they are divided into equal halves or not. Okay. Here, let me consider two points A and B. A of coordinates 5 minus 2 and B of coordinates minus 1, 2. This is the line joining A and B. A line L passes through this such that it bisects a, B into two equal parts. We have to show that this line will bisect the line joining 5 minus 2 and minus 1, 2 in equal ratio if it is possible or not. Does the line 3x minus 5y is equal to 6 bisect the join of 5 minus 2 and minus 1, 2? Here there is a point at which the line bisects A, B if it bisects. Let us take this point as some p and the coordinates x, y. Okay. We will find the coordinates of this point and if this coordinates, the values of x and y, when substituted in the equation for the line, if it satisfied, that is LHS and RHS becomes equal. Putting the values of x and y in the LHS, if we are getting 6, then that point will be lying on this line and this line will be bisecting AB because this point will be the midpoint of AB. Bisect means we said the ratio in which they are divided is equal. That is AP, length AP and BP will be equal if it bisects. Let us find the midpoint. The coordinates of midpoint I have taken X and Y. In the last chapter we have studied how to find the midpoint coordinate of the point P, midpoint, x coordinate will be equal to x1 plus x2 divided by 2 and the y coordinate is equal to y1 plus y2 by 2. So, this midpoint divides the line AB in equal ratio into two equal parts. Now, here this is my x1, y1 and this is my x2, y2. Put the values of x1, y1, x2 and y2. Here to get x, x will be equal to x1 is 5 and x2 is minus 1. 5 minus 1 divided by 2, 5 minus 1, 4, 4 by 2, 2. x is equal to 2. What about y? y is equal to y1 is minus 2 and y2 is equal to 2 plus 2 divided by 2, y is equal to minus 2 plus 2, 0, 0 by 2 is 0. Therefore, the coordinate of the midpoint, midpoint of line joining A, B, P, 2 comma 0. We got the point. Now, what we are going to do is, we are going to substitute this x and y values 
in this equation of line. If this point lies on this line, we already know this point is going to bisect AB in equal ratio. Divide AB in equal ratio. Now, if this point lies on this line, we can say that this line bisects the joining of 5 minus 2 and minus 1, 2. The equation of line is 3x minus 5y is equal to 6. Take the LHS. LHS is equal to 3x minus 5y. Put x is equal to 2 and y is equal to 0. On substituting, what do we get? LHS will be equal to 3 into 2 minus 5 into 0. 5 into 0. That is equal to 3 into 2, 6 minus 5 into 0 is 0. LHS is 6. What is RHS? RHS already we have 6. Which means LHS is equal to RHS. Therefore, we can conclude that the line 3x minus 5y is equal to 6 bisects the join of bisects the join of 5 minus 2 and minus 1, 2. Clear what we have done here? We are finding the midpoint first because midpoint is a point at which the line is divided into two equal parts. Once you get the midpoint, put the values of the x and y values of the midpoint in the equation of line. We will be getting equal LHS and RHS. Then the line is set to bisect the join of 5 minus 2 and minus 1, 2. Is that clear? Here we have the next problem. Problem 7, question 7 of exercise 14a. The line y is equal to 3x minus 2 bisects the join of a3 and 2 minus 5. Find the value of a. We need to find the value of a. In the previous question, we had to find if the line bisects the joining of two points. Here it is given that the line y is equal to 3x minus 2 bisects the joining of these two points. Okay, here the points. Let us take a a comma 3 and b 2 comma 5. So, when a line passes line L and the equation of line is y is equal to 3x minus 2. This line passes such that it bisects AB. This point will be the midpoint. Okay. We are taking the coordinates of midpoint as P, X, Y. Let us find X and Y according to midpoint formula. We will be having X is equal to x1 plus x2 divided by 2. Here x1 is equal to a and x2 is equal to 2. That is a plus 2 divided by 2. We got x. Now what is y? y is equal to y1 is 3 and y2 is equal to minus 5. y1 plus y2 divided by 2 that is equal to 3 plus minus 5. 3 minus 5 divided by 2. 3 minus 5 is minus 2. Minus 2 divided by 2 equal to minus 1. Therefore, the coordinate of point P are A plus 2 divided by 2 and minus 1. And this point P passes is lying on the line y is equal to 3x minus 2. y is equal to 3x minus 2. Now, we are going to substitute x is equal to a plus 2 by 2 and y is equal to minus 1 in this equation of line. y is equal to 3x minus 2. Here we have y value minus 1. Minus 1 is equal to 3 into x value is a plus 2 divided by 2. a plus 2 by 2 minus 2. Okay, minus 1 is equal to removing the brackets and multiplying or you can take the LCM first. Here, denominator we have 3. <coughs> we can take the LCM first. Here the denominator is 2 and here we have denominator 1. Therefore, LCM is 2. 
numerator will be getting 3 into a plus 2 because 2 into 1 is 2. 1 into 3 into a plus 2. Here we have 1 a minus 1 into 2 is 2, 2 into 2, 2 into 2. Minus 1 is equal to 3 into a plus 2 minus 2 into 2, 4 divided by 2. Taking this 2 to the opposite side, we get minus 2. Minus 1 into 2 is minus 2 is equal to removing the brackets and multiplying. 3 into a plus 2 becomes 3a plus 3 into 2 is 6 minus 4. Okay. Now, a containing term is taken to LHS and all other constant move to the RHS. We get 3a becomes minus 3a. Positive sign becomes negative sign when side changes is equal to 6 minus 4 minus 2 taken to the opposite side plus 2. Minus 3a is equal to 6 minus 4 is 2, 2 plus 2, 4. Therefore, the value of a will be equal to 4 divided by, here we have minus 3, negative sign taken to the numerator, we get minus 4 by 3 which is equal to 1 point, minus 1 point, 3, 3, 3. Minus 1.333. This is the value of A. Okay, you can just keep it as minus 4 by 3. Clear? Next, the second part. The line x minus 6y plus 11 is equal to 0. Bisect the join of 8 minus 1 and 0k. Find the value of k. Similar question. Here, we need to find the midpoint. Taking point A as 8 minus 1. And point B, 0, K. This is the line joining. And we have a line of equation X minus 6Y plus 11 is equal to 0. And this line bisects AB. We will get a point P which is the midpoint of AB of coordinates XY. Let us find the midpoint. X is equal to X1 plus X2 divided by 2. Here X1 y1 is point a and x2 y2 is point b. Put the values x1 is equal to 8 and x2 is equal to 0. 0 plus 8 divided by 2. 8 plus 0 is 8. 8 by 2, 4. Then y is equal to y1 plus y2 divided by 2. That is equal to y1 is minus 1 and y2 is k. Minus 1 plus k divided by 2 that is k minus 1 by 2. We got the coordinates of the midpoint. Midpoint p of coordinates 4 k minus 1 divided by 2. Now we will put this values in the equation of line. x is equal to 4 and y is equal to k minus 1 by 2. Putting x is equal to 4 and y is equal to k minus 1 divided by 2 in the equation of line x minus 6y plus 11 is equal to 0. We get x 4 minus 6 into y k minus 1 by 2 plus 11 is equal to 0. From this we can find the value of k. Yes, 4, here we can cancel this 2 and 6, we get 3, minus 3 into k minus 1 plus 11 is equal to 0. Removing the brackets and multiplying, 4 minus 3k minus 3 into minus 1 plus 3 plus 11 is equal to 0. Keeping this minus 3k in the left hand side. Taking all other terms to the right hand side. All the constants 4 becomes minus 4 plus 3 becomes minus 3 plus 11 becomes minus 11. Minus 3k is equal to minus 4 minus 3 we get minus 7 minus 7 minus 11 is minus 18. And k is equal to minus 18 by minus 3. What do we get? Negatives can be removed. 18 by 3 is equal to 6. 
k value is equal to 6. Okay, we got k is equal to 6. Therefore, the coordinates are 0, 6. This is the midpoint. Next problem 8, question 9 of exercise 14a. The point P divides the join of 2, 1 and minus 3, 2 in the ratio 2 is to 3. Does P lie on the line x minus 5y plus 15 is equal to 0? Here in this question, in our previous questions, we were given the point will be the midpoint because bisection is happening. Here what happens? The line is divided in the ratio 2 is to 3. Don't worry, we have the section formula. We have used the midpoint formula in the previous question. Here we will be using the section formula. You remember the section formula? To find the coordinates, x will be equal to m1x2 plus m2x1 divided by m1 plus m2. We have studied this in the previous section. y is equal to m1y2 plus m2y1 divided by m1 plus m2. Now we have points A and B. A, the coordinates are 2 comma 1 and that of B, the coordinates are minus 3 comma 6. These points are joined with a straight line. Now what happens? The point P divides the joining of these two points in the ratio 2 is to 3. Somewhere here we will take the point P. Let the coordinates be x, y. The ratio in which they are divided is 2, 3. Okay. A, P is 2 and P, B is 3. That is some 2x, 3x. We have a line x minus 5y plus 15 is equal to 0. We have to find if this point P lies on this line. Okay. Let us find the values of x and y. Here m1 is to m2. The ratio is given which is 2 is to 3. While putting the ratio you have to remember we will be starting from this end. Okay. 2 is to 3, you cannot put here 2 and here 3. This is what 2 is to 3 is. We will start from A to B. Now, find x. The coordinates P, x, y, we are finding x. m1, x2. Here m1 is 2 into what is x2? For this line, x2 is minus 3. Minus 3 plus m2, 3 into x1, x1 is 2 divided by m1 plus m2, 2 plus 3. That is equal to 2 into minus 3 is minus 6 plus 3 into 2 is 6 divided by 2 plus 3 is 5, which is equal to minus 6 plus 6, 0. Therefore, we got x is equal to 0. Now, let us find y. y is equal to m1 y2. m1 is 2 into what is y2? y2 here we have 6 plus m2 y1. m2 is 3 and y1 is equal to 1 divided by m1 plus m2. 2 plus 3. That is equal to 2 into 6 12 plus 3 into 1 3 divided by 5. 2 plus 3 is 5. y is equal to 12 plus 3, 15 divided by 5, that is equal to 3. We got y equal to 3. Then the coordinates of point P, x, y is equal to P, 0, 3. We got this point P, which is dividing the line joining A and B in the ratio 2 is to 3. We have to find if this point P lies on the line x minus 5y plus 15 is equal to 0. What to do? We will put x value is equal to 0 and y value equal to 3 to check this. x is equal to 0. Take the LHS part. LHS is equal to x minus 5y plus 15. That is equal to x value 0 minus 5 into 3 plus 15. 
5 into 3 is 15, minus 15 plus 15, we get 0. LHS is 0 and RHS is also equal to 0. Therefore, the point P lies on line x minus 5y plus 15 is equal to 0. Clear? Only difference between this question and the previous question is in the previous question, the ratio m1 is to m2 becomes equal to 1 is to 1. On putting the 1, 1 values for m1 and m2, we get the equation x1 plus x2 divided by 2, which is our midpoint formula. Here the ratio is 2 is to 3. Therefore, we cannot use the midpoint formula and we are using the section formula to find the point P. Okay, here we have the last question for today, problem 9, question 11 of exercise 14a. Find the point of intersection of the lines 4x plus 3y is equal to 1 and 3x minus y plus 9 is equal to 0. If this point lies on the line 2k minus 1 into x minus 2y is equal to 4, find the value of k. How to find the point of intersection? We have studied this in the smaller classes. We have two lines of equations 4x plus 3y is equal to 1 and 3x minus y is equal to, we can write this as minus 9. I am taking the constant to the opposite side. To find the point of intersection, we should get x and y values such that the values of x and y satisfy both the equation. That is, we will be getting some values for x and y. When you substitute in the first equation and second equation, we will be getting this RHS. To find, I am taking this as first equation and this as second equation. We can use the elimination method or the substitution method or cross multiplication method to find the values of x and y. Here we have 4x and here we have 3x. In the first equation, we have 3y. In the second equation, we have y. Now, what I am going to do is equation 2 into 3. I am going to multiply the second equation with 3. So, that I will be getting minus 3y here. I can subtract the first equation from the second equation or adding first and second equation, I can eliminate this y containing term. First equation as it is 4x plus 3y is equal to 1. And the second equation multiplying with 3. 3 into 3x is 9x. 3 into y is 3y. We have a minus sign minus 3y is equal to minus 9 into 3 is minus 27. Okay. So, this is the first equation and I am naming this equation as 3. Now, Equation 1 plus equation 3. Adding first equation and the third equation, what do we get? LHS. LHS we have 4x plus 3y plus here we have 9x minus 3y. What about RHS? 1 and minus 27. Minus 27. X containing terms on adding we get 4x plus 9x is 13x plus 3y minus 3y can be removed. 13x will be equal to 1 minus 27 is minus 26 and the value of x will be equal to minus 26 divided by 13 which is minus 2. We got the x value. Now put this x value in the first equation. 4 into minus 2 plus 3y is equal to 1. 4 into minus 2 is minus 8 plus 3y is equal to 1. 3y is equal to 1 plus 8. Minus 8 taken to the opposite side. 3y is equal to 1 plus 8, 9. Which implies y is equal to 9 by 3. And that is 3. y value is equal to 3. Therefore, x is equal to minus 2. And y is equal to 3. This is the point of intersection coordinates minus 2, 3. Now, we have to check if this point of intersection lies on the line 2k minus 1 x into minus 2y is equal to 4. It is already given that this point lies on this line. 
from which we have to calculate the value of k. Equation of line is 2k minus 1 into x minus 2y is equal to 4. To find the value of k, put the x and y values. x is equal to minus 2 and y is equal to 3. 2k minus 1 into minus 2. x value is minus 2. Minus 2 into y value is 3 is equal to 4. Removing the brackets and multiplying. Minus 2 into 2k minus 4k. Minus 1 into minus 2 is plus 2. Minus 2 into 3 we get 6 is equal to 4. That is minus 4k is equal to 2 minus 6 is minus 4. Taking minus 4 to the opposite side 4 plus 4. Minus 4k is equal to 4 plus 4 8 and k is equal to 8 by minus 4 which is minus 8 by 4 and that is equal to minus 2. We got the k value k is equal to minus 2. Clear? First we are finding the point of intersection. We got the x and y values of the point of intersection. After getting substituting in the equation for the line, we are finding the value of k and we obtain k is equal to minus 2. Clear? That's all for today. In today's class, we have studied the basics about the equations of a line. We have studied how to find if a point lies on the line or not with examples and solve many questions from exercise 14a. Hope you all enjoyed this session. I'll be back in the next session. Until then, stay tuned to Learn Hub. Learn Hub free hai, par best hai. Thank you.